Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents for your events or your groups that will allow people to click on the links to take them to each individual post without having to scroll through the entire feed. So I have this uh, starter kit event up here. I'm going to scroll down to where I have the table of contents. Here it is. I have this as the pinned post. It says unpin post. If it's not the pinned post, you will see an option here that says pin post. You just click on that, and what that does is that pins this post to the top of the feed. So anyone who comes in this group, this is the first post that they're going to see. So this is the table of contents. When you expand it, you can see all the posts that I've made so far. Day one, day two, day three. And then there's a link. And this link will take you directly to that particular post. So they're not going to have to scroll through. Let's say you're on day 12 and they want to look at day one. They don't have to scroll all the way to the bottom of the feed to look at day one. They can simply click that link and it will take them directly to day one. So let me show you how to get this link. So what you're going to do, let's say today, for example, I posted on lemon and lemon vitality, and I want to put the link in here to that particular post. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the post that you're wanting to get the link for. So let's say we're going to go to the lemon post, which is right here because I just posted it. You're going to right click on this little gray text that says when you posted the post. So you're going to right click here where it says six minutes. For example, on the other post, you're going to right click where it says the time right here. Sometimes it'll say two days ago, one day ago, or the actual date and time. So what you're going to do is you're going to just right click on that stamp, that time stamp. So I'm going to right click on this. You're going to grab open link in new tab. So you're going to open this up in a new tab. Come up here to this tab. Let it load. And then once you have this link up here, you're going to copy and paste this copy then go back to your group page here go to your post your table of contents post click edit edit post and you're just going to paste that link that you just copied into your post save it now when you come in here and you open it up there you've got your link it's the permalink, as you can see. So what happens when I click on that? It's going to take me to the main page, but it's going to bump me down right to this very first post right here. So obviously, you're going to have the pinned post first. That's going to appear on every page. And then the very first post they're going to see is the lemon post. So for example, uh, let's say we wanted to try the um, one of the ones that was earlier on, like the first post, the peppermint post. So let me go back to this main page and we'll try it with the peppermint post. So let's open this up. Um, oops. Open this up. Let's click on peppermint or even day one. Let's click on day one. This is going to take us to table of contents is going to come up first. And there it is. Post one, day one. So they don't have to scroll all the way through the entire event to get to the post that they want. All they have to do is click on your link in your table of contents. You can do this in any group, in any Facebook event. This is very helpful to do after you've just finished event, an event that had maybe you know, 20 posts in it. So people can easily go back and revisit the individual posts without having to scroll through the entire feed. So I hope that was helpful. If you had any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.